What a podcast we've got lined up for you today. There's heaps coming up on the show. We're going to unpack everything that happened last night at the Met during my DJ set. Pat Carrigan drops by and explains why my face is not on his nuts. And who could forget the Prime Minister? He joins the show as well. To explain why it, though. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Here we are. The night, the yeah. morning after the night before. Yes. What, oh, what a night! Really, really Late great night. December nineteen sixty-three. Oh my goodness, what a night! Yeah, that was a classic. Yeah. Here she is, DJ Lazy Susan in the house. Is. Hello. <laughs> how so, you feeling? That's so oh, funny. Like you literally were exactly how I. The last time I saw you was that draped over your shoulder. Oh, the Nova jacket. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I, I see you now. In. Oh, God. I feel all right. I've got a bit of a headache. Do you guys? Mm. Nope. What a night. <laughs> oh, God. That was, that was fun. Nick that was really oh. fun. Nick said he's got a video ready to go. Is that right, Nick? Just putting it up right now, guys. Wow. If you weren't there last oh, night, you wow. want to see what it was like at the Met. Oh, my God. We had God. a good team around us, didn't we? Great team. A thousand people there last night at the Met. A thousand? Yeah. Yep. Oh, they packed the balconies. They packed the uh, the dance floor. I think it was more than a thousand. But it yeah. Was, well, we it, only had a thousand officials plus all the other invites we gave away. It was compact. I got mm. someone in. Or, Did, right, you? Yeah, Did you? Yeah, as I was walking Did in, you? there was this lady and she was like, oh, I listen to you guys. What a wreck. I, I haven't got, really? a, I haven't got a, a ticket. And I went, oh, come with come me. On. Yeah, oh, come that's yeah. good. Have fun. That was outstanding. Really, was really, really great. fun. Yeah. It was really good. I've got to give credit to the Met as well. They put oh, on a oh show, didn't they? Oh, my God, the like, Met. Matt and Xander from the Met. Yeah. That they went like, above and beyond. Above level. and beyond. That was one of the most incredible things I've ever been a part of, to be to be yeah. perfectly honest. That was fun. Like, the, the Met's a great venue, but that was as good as I've seen it. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. the, the, the setup they had, that, that's, you know, the boiler room, middle middle situation. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I Matt, you know, he's my cars with, like, uh, Xander. Hey, like, Xander. What he, what he did was pretty incredible. The lighting, everything. Yeah. yeah. That was madness. The video behind me. The lady dressed as a butterfly. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was amazing. With the wings. Yeah. Did you see her? Nothing was too much <clears throat> for the Met. Like luminescent butterfly wings. Yeah. That, that actually opened and closed and everyone was going up and getting pictures with her. Mm. Wow. Jolly on Petch is a great guy, isn't he? Oh, a so legend. nice. Absolute yeah. legend. So nice. He yeah. was funny <laughs> because up in the green room before it all started, they had a video link to what it looked like downstairs. Mm. mm. And he was sitting there looking at it, and he goes, oh, is it a boiler room set up, is it? That's right. That was funny, wasn't <laughs> yeah, it? And yeah. then you said to him, have you ever done a boiler room? And he goes, no, I haven't. No. Like, he was dead set. I, rec- so- I, rec- I bet you see John Leon Pets doing a boiler room in the next mm. month or two. Like yeah. He was like, this is amazing. He hadn't even seen the decks. He just had was hanging his stuff over his shoulder. Did you see him? Yeah. And ridiculously mm. calm about it all. Yeah. Oh. He's like, oh, I'll just plug my USB and off I'll go. Mm. He's done his 10,000 hours. Yeah, though. yeah, like yeah. He, he's, he's a pro. He, he's, uh, he, he was telling me a bit of his story. It's amazing. He's, he's DJed all over the world. Mm. I'm just reading the Daily Mail, the, the headline, <laughs> Madam Butterfly hits the deck. Susie Will whips the dance floor into a frenzy. <laughs> hey. She debuts new career as DJ Lisa <laughs> Susan. <laughs> She's one of Australia's most decorated athletes, but Susie O'Neill is making waves in a whole new world. Oh! Oh. Is that your line? No, I said spread your wings. No, didn't yeah. you have this on the Oh, from the decks, pool decks to the, the DJ book, decks, yeah. yeah. On Thursday night, the Aussie swimming legend, 50. Oh. oh. Sorry. No. Traded, <laughs> traded her goggles for turntables as she debuted as new... Oh, that's, that's going Let's come back and chat about it. Um, the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Now you want the Daily Mail thing, which I've immediately lost, obviously. Give me two seconds. We had, like, the, there was a stack of media there last night. I know we had uh, the Courier Mail were there. We had the Daily Mail. We had TV cameras. It was two, yeah, Channel two, 7 two, were there two, for a bit. Today Show was there. Yep. Yeah, two networks were there. When I walked in, it was funny because I got it. was like going to a swimming carnival, except I hopped out of the <laughs> <It> car. <was? laughs> well, I, I, got, I went home, I had a sleep, and then I had a shower. And had, oh, yeah. You know, like, I felt like I was prepping for a, a swimming carnival. And then the, the car drove up to the laneway next to the Met. And I got out of the car, and then there was all these cameras. It was dark, but there was cameras with lights, like a couple of cameramen. Yeah, no. <laughs> and, the, right. and I was told I wasn't allowed to speak to anyone. <laughs> and so I was walking down. Susan's not talking to really here. No comments. Yeah. No comments. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. Okay, so I'll, I'll go on from the, uh, the, the Olympic champion. Hang on, sorry, sorry, sorry. The Olympic champion looked effortlessly cool. <laughs> a black singlet. <laughs> And trendy sunglasses. Now we Jim. Bonnie, I saw Bonnie last night. Yeah. Clearly enjoying herself as she spun the latest hits. Among her supporters on the night 
were her Nova colleagues, Ashley Bradham and David Luttrell, mm. along with her two children, Alex, 20, and Bill, 18, who cheered her on. Alex was my stage mum. From the dance. <laughs> she was telling me what to do. <laughs> and she was telling me to smile and turn, turn, the, turn the knobs. And she goes, smile, <laughs> mum. Put your hand up, dance. She was, like, moving out. She was pulling like my stage mum. <laughs> The mother of two spoke to the Courier Mail earlier this month about the upcoming gig. I never really went to nightclubs when I was younger <laughs> because I was always swimming, she told the publication. So I thought maybe it'd be fun just to go to the nightclub to be a DJ, she explained. Oh, my God. Else, on, elsewhere yeah. in the chat, Susie teased that fans can expect the unusual set list from her show. Mm. Interesting. I'm just reading this. Uh, this on the Daily Mail, you say? Yeah. We're talking yeah. about how it started, how um, I think Lutzi said, it'd be good to have an old boiler in the boiler room. Was that, <laughs> yeah. was that the, one of the first lines <laughs> yes. he said, Lutzi? It goes on. You've got to check it out. Oh. Uh, it was good. There was only everyone from 18 to yeah, there was mid a huge 60s. Spread. Mm. Yeah. It was great to get everyone together. <laughs> yeah. You know, and they all got into it too. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Thanks for coming along. It's mm. amazing. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. We've got the Prime Minister in the studio. Prime Minister, Prime Minister. Albanese. Mm. Mm. Oh, Welcome, yeah. Prime Some, Minister. Something yes. was happening there. No, this is, you you haven't you got know. your headphones on. Last time we had you on, we asked you for the correct way. Good morning, by the way. But we asked you for the uh, the correct way to pronounce your name, and you told us. Albanese. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. But, you know, Albo is easier. Yeah, is. <laughs> in the great Australian tradition. When did you get to Brisbane? Were you yeah. there last night at the Met? I was uh, performing in a DJ set and they, there was rumours that you were going to be there. You were performing? Yeah, well, you DJ. Were yeah. you there? Is that why you came no, up to Brisbane? No, <laughs> if I had have known, because I was here last night, I oh, was yeah. at a, uh, what were you a, doing? a business function that was much more sedate than your DJ uh-huh. set. Oh, look at that, you're going yeah. off there. Yeah. There was a huge crowd with over a thousand people. Awesome. Packed a nightclub. Sue's DJed for the first time uh, ever. And what did you uh, what did you play? Oh, well, I finished with uh, Sweet Caroline. Oh, but it's well, not a... that, that'll always get him going. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's not about works. me, it's about you. What are you doing up here in Brisbane? Uh, I have yesterday yeah. um, done, uh, we did a big announcement to make batteries here, yes. some $540 million mm-hmm. as part of our Future Made in Australia plan. Oh. We, want, we want to bring manufacturing here to Queensland and to the whole country because we need to be more resilient. That's one of the lessons of the pandemic is the risks that we have if we stop making things. And we have everything that goes into a battery, we should be making them here. So is It's it actually big. The way, it's a big money spinner for us. And is the way that it has been working, we've, we've kind of been producing the necessary ingredients and then shipping it overseas to That's sort exactly of put the right. cake together? We're, we're the world's biggest producer of lithium right and we chuck it all overseas wait for someone else to add the jobs and the value and then import it back what we should be doing is adding value ourselves creating jobs ourselves and uh, producing the economic benefit here and Queensland has such an exciting opportunity because you have uh, these large deposits of uh, the things that we need vanadium and and lithium and copper and everything else that will power this century. But you also have something that's pretty good too we have around Australia, and that's space. (laughs) We can can have large solar farms producing clean energy and then using that clean energy to produce uh, hydrogen and then using that to produce green metals. So uh, green aluminium, green steel, batteries, solar panels, there's a whole range of things that we can be producing here that will make an enormous difference to us. Uh, One of the things, on one of my visits to Queensland during the pandemic, I did three road trips down the coast, well, two down the coast, from from, one from Cairns and one from Townsville, and then another one from Barcaldon through Emerald and then to Rocky and then down. And it struck me when you get to Maryborough, because of the rail manufacturing there, you've seen this explosion, a really successful regional town. Uh, We need to replicate that. And uh, that is just one of uh, the examples of what we can do in this country. So when you say solar farms, you mean like, like for example, when when you drive from LA to Vegas, you see these like expanses of solar panels. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, and and you see it um, up in- Like literally like, Hundreds of football fields. Literally, exactly. And it's there now at places like... If you you go between Mount Isa and Townsville, you have projects like 
Big Kennedy and Little Kennedy, which is a big wind farm and a little wind farm. You have uh, Kidston, which is using uh, solar, uh, like huge operations okay. that are producing energy. And you can use that clean energy to produce green hydrogen, which is uh, essentially a fuel source that you can then make steel and aluminium etc with so Rio Tinto in Gladstone have recently signed a three and a half billion dollar deal one company uh, for uh, for renewable energy into that site where they produce aluminium just for their Gladstone site just for their Gladstone site really so there, there's a lot of change happening but our task is to seize the opportunity which is there and to be optimistic about it, the whole global economy is changing as the world goes to net zero and to take that opportunity so that we get the advantage. And we're, we're so well positioned. I mean, we're in, we've got the fastest growing of the region of the world in human history just to our north. And that can be a big bonus for us for our future. And that helps pandas as well. Like, uh, does that help Queenslanders? Like, absolutely, on the bottom line, it does. In their bottom line? Absolutely. It gives them jobs. Jobs, It gives yeah. them uh, income uh, for Queensland. And because Queensland's the most regional of our states in terms of your population, there's a lot of people here in southeast Queensland, but Everyone, right throughout... Everyone's moving here too. Right obviously. throughout the whole state. Well, it's a great place to live. A lot of uh, South Sydney fans and, move here every week. Oh, there's, there's always... No, don't, don't. There's no, always... Don't. Don't. I wish they'd go home personally. <laughs> there, there's always a random South guy. <laughs> 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 I, There's a lot of random South Skies. I, 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 I noticed uh, watching a few of the games Magic over round. Magic oh Round. God, no matter so who good. was playing, there were South people, loyalists there. They were crying, some of them. <laughs> in the stands. Hey, yeah, I'm, just, I'm moving on from that for a second. I know it's something that uh, pretty everyone's passionate about in the room, but particularly David and, and, and Susan, you talk about seizing opportunities and making the most of things for Queenslanders. The Olympics is, uh, is, is on our doorstep. We've got it. It's coming. There's, uh, you know, there's no denying that. Are you confident that we're going to be able to put on a decent Olympics? Are you comfortable with where we are at at the moment? Because it seems to be up in the air, and there's a lot of debate around the Olympic Games. So, what's your thoughts on that? You bet I am. It'll be a cracker. Look, I, I, I live in Sydney, or used to now in Canberra most of the time, and I remember around about this time, we're eight years away. Uh, before the Sydney Olympics, there was a lot of cynicism. There was, oh, will it all work? Will it be worth it? <laughs> People talking about, oh, I'm going to rent out my place and leave Sydney. Uh, those who left Sydney during that time regret it. Yeah, It was awesome. And the Brisbane Games will be fantastic. Uh, we had big uh, budget announcements uh, for uh, Olympic-based sports, including... Uh, a very substantial, the largest ever increase in funding for the Australian Institute of Sport. Uh, it will be a huge opportunity to showcase this great city and great state to the whole world. Uh, so it's a flow-on effect as well, and I'm very confident uh, and, and, and that you, Queensland will do it very well. And you've pushed in hard. The feds have actually pushed in hard and uh, with you know billions of dollars. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get Brisbane Arena or Brisbane Live going our concern is like uh and can you lean on can you use your persuasive skills <laughs> yeah. to lean on making sure that brisbane gets around i know it's not i know it's not not even your area but a, a new round stadium like uh, the nathan thing is a, is, a, is a joke and again not your problem state state problem but they're your colleagues we need to put we need to put a line through that we just need that for people that live in brisbane which is us uh, we need to put a line through that because that's we, it can't be it, it cannot be the Olympics will be a joke if we have it there. Look, I'm not, I'm not micromanaging. I know, the Olympics, I know, I know. Not, not your problem. I, I'll, I'll say I, that. I think yeah. it. I think it will be a huge success. I think uh, when it goes ahead, people will be enthusiastic about it. Uh, I I was I was here when uh, Brisbane won mm. the games and the excitement. Uh, that was there was palpable. You could feel it, and I just think the energy of think about Magic Round. I mean, I didn't no, get up here this yeah. year. It, it's just so good walking mm. around. People yeah. are happy. Yeah. They're engaged with each other. Strangers are talking to strangers on the street. Yeah. Uh, people walking around in their gear. It's Magic Round times. A it thousand. will be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. You, mm. It'll be great. To, are you hoping to be Prime Minister at 
that in period 2032. Yeah. Well, not yeah. necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, I'm, I'm two years in yesterday. Two oh, years. really? So it was my, my two, two year birthday okay. yesterday. And there'll be an election this year. And uh, uh, next year's. When next it's year. Due. Next year. Oh, next so, year. Yeah, every every three year. years, which isn't long enough, really. No. But uh, everyone Short. else has four years. But mm. the okay. Look, and, and I know you play tennis, short. but you did your calf recently. <laughs> I, I can, I, can I recommend pickleball? Pickleball, yeah. yes, I, I am, pickleball. I'm pickleball I am dying to play pickleball. Yeah. Lutzi's yeah. got a Tuesday night league next time you're in town. I do, I do ne- choose, yeah. next, and you next, are welcome. Next Tuesday trip, nights. Tuesday night, you're on. <laughs> and, like, you do less calf muscles doing pickleball, is what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, t- a, t- it's, it's like... <laughs> Tennis for mature people. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was about old people. Let's go mature. Mature. <laughs> and what are you, what are you up to today, uh, Prime Minister? Uh, today mm-hmm. I am uh, going back to uh, Sydney. I'm doing a, a big speech at the yeah. Olympic Stadium. Funnily enough, really? in Sydney, I had a feeling uh, you're going there to the at Homebush yeah. for the two year anniversary. So doing of your... a speech there of the election and what we've been doing and oh, right. where we're. Where we're headed, so a okay. big day today. Okay, good luck. Well, congratulations on two years in the hot seat. Thank you very much. Yep, and uh, thanks for dropping in. We're sorry we didn't order any Guzman for you. It's turned, <laughs> yeah. It literally turned up just before you arrived. We would have got you a breakfast burrito. Yeah, you, you could have, yeah. you know, slipped me half or something. <laughs> yeah, Buzz, but, why didn't you, you know, give me half? I've got half left. Yeah. Like, you can have a chorizo burrito. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm being offered here for those who actually... Listening rather than watching, I'm being offered a semi chewed end. <laughs> yeah, Buzz is semi chewed. When the Prime Minister asks you for something, you deliver. Yeah. And that's uh, what I offered yeah. you. Like how high? So, so, sometimes, you know, you, you don't want to get what you, uh, you yeah. asked for, and that is one of those occasions. <laughs> but mum, thank you for the generous you're offer. You're welcome. And Mum just texted me asking if there's a, a wedding in the air. There, well, oh. there is. Tony Luttrell. There is. It's not today? Literally, look. Not, not today. Uh-huh. Is there uh, oh. Big fan, by the way. She is, uh, oh, good good on your mum. So Listen like, to your mother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do. And uh, <laughs> so we are, um, yeah, no, we're very happy. We're engaged, of course. We got engaged earlier so no this date. year. No date. No date yet. Well, the, <laughs> the problem is my diary trying to find... <laughs> Uh, a, a, a time off because we want to have Honeyman. not just a wedding. You want to have, you mm-hmm. know, at least a that's at a, least that, a, that's a political hot pot. Isn't at it? least like a, a week or two. Yeah. So we will, uh, but we're we're very happy, and we will set a date and uh, <laughs> when when we. When we can. Just when we can, I think it's the correct answer. Have your honeymoon at Magic Round next year. Bring her up for the three days. <laughs> no, just get, All right. her, well, we, get we, her a Raiders game. We, we, <laughs> we met, of course, when I was at a, uh, a, a dinner in, uh, in Melbourne and... I got sledged as I got to the microphone for he's a good bloke and all of this, uh, but uh, he's only got one thing wrong with him. He's a South supporter. And I said, there's always a random South guy yeah, in the on. room. Yeah. And uh, Jody yelled out up the rabbit eyes. Uh, and that's how we met. That's yeah. how you met. Wow. South Sydney. Right. Sydney. I'm they absolutely you together. I had dead serious, and it turned out she lived in Stanmore in my electorate, but I didn't know that. And then I ran into her again <laughs> a funny. couple a couple of weeks later. So South Sydney <laughs> bringing people together. Right. <laughs> <laughs> totally. We're lovers, not fighters. <laughs> <laughs> she should play the South Sydney anthem as she walks down the aisle. Oh, she's, uh, her, her parents are more fanatical than uh, I thought. I was on the board for years. Her parents oh go to God. every game. They go to the Charity Shield. They catch yeah. the train and the bus. They live up the Central Coast. They're, they're good coasties and they they are very passionate. Her whole family. Uh, South, South. You have to marry this woman. Yeah. <laughs> she was made for you. <laughs> exactly. I didn't even know that. That's crazy. Yeah, no, it's a very strange way to meet someone, isn't it? <laughs> well, who, who would have thought romance <laughs> could begin there? Yeah, I know. the random South supporter. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and coming in here today. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you, Ben. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Good news, Suze. Good day, sunshine. I'm walking on the sunshine. Whoa. Mattel to honour Mary Fowler with her very own Barbie doll. Barbie, mm. let's go party. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. 
The doll will be complete with her signature braid and those gloves she wears. Oh, cool. Yeah, the new campaign wants to honour female athletes that have broken down barriers for women in sports. Fowler said she was speechless. Uh, being a positive influence and seeing young girls recreate my look has been so special and to finally hold my doll and see her wear my bubble braid, my gloves and even my boots made my Barbie doll unique to me. Good news, Suze. Man opens car wash for autistic son and hired 80 disabled persons. <laughs> That's a good one. Andrew Dieri began working, looking for work when he was 24. But he couldn't get a job uh, because he had autism and a lot of people didn't want to hire him. So seeing his struggle, his dad and elder brother had an idea to open the Rising Tide Car Wash. That not only helped Andrew uh, get a job, but it gave 80 individuals in sil- uh, similar circumstances oh, good. also a job. It was nice. awesome. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Good news, Suze. In Paris, bikes are now used more than cars for inner city travel. How could I forget to mention the bicycle is a good invention? That's like Amsterdam. Yeah, Amsterdam. A lot of Sweden, a lot of uh, overseas yeah. European countries. How good is that? So good. Research by the Urban Planning Agency Institute Paris found that Parisians now use bicycles for 11.2% of trips inside the city centre. That's up 3% since 2010, while cars are used for just uh, 4.3% of journeys. I wonder what it is here, you reckon? Oh, like I wonder. 80%. There's, heaps, like cars. Easy, cars. Easy, cars. There's heaps more, more really good um, bike paths in the Brisbane city now for and bicycles. That, not on Shrindog, by the way. That? Yeah. Paris's two-world revolution follows a major program of cycle lane building, yes, in the nice. city centre, which is what they've done. Have you seen, been to the city lately, driving around? There's, uh, not really, but yeah, I know what you're there's saying. There's bike paths everywhere. Yeah, we need more of that. More. Yeah. Let's get on to it. We're getting there. Yeah. It's good news. On the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Breathing. There's one song I do not talk off the back of. That is Billie Eilish and Lunch here on Nova. Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill. You gave that a run last night. Was that on the set list? Uh, yes. Yes, it was. Yes. I was mm. not expecting that. You yeah. added that late. That I added that late. I wasn't yeah. sure if I was going to play it, but... Uh. <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was well received. It was what, more of a statement song. Yeah. What about when we got dragged up, Lutzi? We, uh, we went up twice, but we got up early in the set. Did you send us up, Buzz, or someone sent, sent us well, up? I was yelling Susan, out to come up. Did you not yes. hear me? I'm going, come up, guys. The first time I yelled out, you didn't come up, but that's fine. We, we were back of stage. So oh. we, we thought mm-hmm. you were just giving us a shout-out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. We did. Oh, okay. It was yeah, quite yeah, a few. No, 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 like, no. It was behind the Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, because when I got up there, I got a bit overwhelmed that it was going to be 30 minutes. And I'm like, oh, I need some help as well. I mean, I wanted you guys to come up. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we went up, and I think we when we went up, we got up and we went to dance. Which, Like, how awkward is that, by the way? You did oh, well yeah. to do it for 30 minutes. Oh, I know. Minutes. I am not a dancer. I, like, I was up there for two, and I was just like, <laughs> oh, just I know jump. I can't dance. <laughs> I just tried to hug you, both of you. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. You just jump in that situation. You just put your arms in Jump and throw your jump. arms. Yeah. yeah. Well... I'd never still been difficult. in that situation before, <laughs> but I was still. But the song didn't warrant jumping. Like the whatever song we yeah, were, the, we, we came that. up and it was like, oh, this is the the slowest song yeah, of the it? entire set. Okay. It was like uh, I said to Lutzi, I said, "You can't eat. like this mm. is the, the this is the slow song." Same thing happened when I got my kids up there. It yep. wasn't a dance song either. What oh. was that? I remember thinking both times I got people up, it wasn't a. Oh, was it the the last second last song, the butterfly? What? No. Your kids went up after you played Vogue. I remember that much. It was early on. Oh, God, it was Be- like a blur. Because Jolly on Pench had said, he said that the, you get good bang for your buck with just a simple hand movement. Like if you put up your hand as, oh. in the stop sign, like as if you're Yeah, saying, that's the key, I think. If you're saying stop, and then he goes, and then all you got to do is you just move your head, but <laughs> you just go like this. <laughs> Like, oh, like the queen way, yeah. Like queen, that's pretty queen queen like this, yeah. Uh, or like you've just taken yeah. a basketball shot and you're watching it go through the net. And you just go, uh, oh damn, uh, just drop, uh, drop, uh, it, yeah, drop, drop. What song did Jolly on Petch start with? Because um, before it, he was going. I'm gonna. St- I've got two choices. One is um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna see how the crowd's going. I'm like, I wonder how, how we. Oh, no, and then I was in a blur. I didn't hear what he started with. He said it was either gonna be the It's Friday, yeah. He definitely Saturday, played Sunday, that. I don't think what? it was first though. Or another I can't, song. I can't. He hadn't even decided. No. And Kewl's a cute. Gee, he's number. impressive, he was though, saying, isn't he? Yeah, I'm not sure. He's impressive. I'm going to play. Yeah. I like him a lot. Mm. He was talking about when his song went massive in, uh, he said it was 2021. Were you talking to him about that? During COVID? Yeah, during yeah. COVID. And um, it he just blew up. He mentioned that when we spoke to him as well, I think, mm. didn't he? Yeah. 
Oh, on the interview. Oh, on, the, yeah. on the radio. The dream song. And you know what he was saying now is that uh, for the for the DJs, when they come out with a um, uh, with a with a big hit, they used uh, Cyril, oh, yeah. stumbling in as an example, that they don't even shoot film clips anymore. You, d- you don't shoot film clips because mm. so everything is just TikTok. So all you need to do oh. is just shoot enough on TikTok in the hope that that is going to go viral like on TikTok. Seconds yeah, around just around have around. enough of it. Sh- and shooting... Like this, like you know, just with your phone, yeah, like just, not just with your phone. Oh wow, he wasn't even on social media when that. that no, um, his first song went bump. dreams, dreams, yeah. mm. and then he realised he had to get on social media. Yeah, well, that's the main. It seems like that's the main way because now. I well, even, even again to get on radio, like that's a thing now. Mm. You know, you can actually legitimately just well, that's how it worked for Cyril. Cut it to mm. yeah. He reckons Cy- he reckons Cyril was up in Darwin. And came up with that stumbling in, and next thing you know, it's just gone berserk all over the country. And now, yeah. and now he says he's making coin. Mm. Damn. Just got to try and make that lightning strike. Yeah. Are you going to continue DJing, Suze? No, one and done. That's it. You're done. All Still? done. Yeah. What totally. there's, been there's been offers. <laughs> there's been offers. <laughs> Talk about money. Whew. No. There's been offers. <laughs> no. Like legit offers. Like how much? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working, I'm working with people. Right? Uh, if you want to see the video, Ash Lutzi and Susie yeah, O'Neill, the first 90 seconds of the, the night has been put up on our socials. I know Nick is oh, really? working tirelessly oh, geez, he works tirelessly. in the background. Yeah, He stayed up till midnight, after uh, midnight. I was getting emails from him at like 11.30. <laughs> <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Just strut like nobody's watching. Get what you want, when you want it at snaffle.com.au. The home of bite-sized payments. Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill's secret strut sound. Thousand bucks right now, thanks to Snaffle. Um, this is the last day we're doing it, so if we don't give it away, this will be paying for our Guzman breakfast. Oh, oh, get delivered this I think it's me today. Is it it is you. Yeah. All oh, right. It has to be. Yeah. Uh, Donna. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, guys. How are you? Oh, very well. Good, you thank you. Bit, you seem a bit down. Are you not chipper on a Friday? Oh, I'm just standing out by the road, so I've got reception. So it's a little bit mm, refreshing. Oh, I've made you hop out of the car again. <laughs> 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 a little bit too mm-hmm. fast. Yeah. <laughs> Is it cold out there on the road at Caboolture? Oh, invigorating is the word I'm going to use this morning. Yes, positive. Yeah. Invigorating. <laughs> What's going on in your life? So I have a mobilisation team coming in for induction, so they should be here in about half an hour from East Timor, so <laughs> that'll be lovely. A mobilisation team coming in for induction. From yes. East Timor, did you say? Yes, Timor Leste. That's, yeah. that's a fascinating sentence. Oh. I have no idea what that means. I'm going to pretend I understand and yeah. move on. I think Susie may have been alluding to the birthday party you had this weekend. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm excited about that. So my eldest grandson turns four and I have a brand new grandson who... Is also part of that family. He's three weeks old, so oh, nice. I'm getting to hang out with them. Cute. Can't wait till that. What? Being a grandma. Oh, hint, oh, hint. Really? No. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so much better than being a mum. You just get to spoil them and hand them back. It'd be more fun, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, listen. We're going to play some audio from somewhere. susan has been strutting around this week. Mm. And I was okay. strutting. I was strutting at this place, Donna. Oh yeah. yeah. Strutting. You get it right, you okay. win $1,000. You can spoil the grandkids with that, okay? Get it wrong? I would love that. I don't even know what happens if you get You can't get this one wrong, Donna. Sure. No, you won't okay. get it wrong. Here we go. Here's the audio. What? Still the pace. Mm. I'm going to... Oh, it's a hard one. The Met. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> yeah. Very good. <laughs> You weren't there last night, were you, Donna? Were you there? I was invited, but my work um, made me work, so I unfortunately oh. missed it. Yeah. So, but I've got to hear a little bit this morning. Well, you, you can't go to nightclubs on a Thursday when you've got a bunch of people from East Timor coming on a Friday. Exactly. Mm. Apparently. Said, I've always They said weren't that. booked when I won the tickets. <laughs> Again, we're going, no, it's, again, it's yeah. very vague. What do you reckon she does? I've got no idea. No. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Oh. Well done. Well done, Donna. Yeah, thousand bucks. Thanks, guys. Snapple. Enjoy your weekend. You, you too. too. All right. Just strut like nobody's Thanks for wrapping watching. us up, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than. I'm smarter than Sue's. Bright and Homes includes aircon, flooring, steel frames, and solar as standard. You don't need to be smarter than Sue's to discover why it's better with Brighton.
Thank you, Brighton. Uh, Sarah. Hello. Won't you tell me your name? <laughs> Sarah's from the Switch. I saw him out at Sandstone Point recently. That was brilliant. Eskimo Joe. Yeah. So, Good band. So underrated. Very underrated. Mm. Uh, have you got Matilda and Grace there? I think I feel like I can hear some people chirping around that? in the background. Such a good memory. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're they're fighting. Oh, uh, that's uh, so. Uh, I bet you it's Grace. It's standard. Grace, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, Grace and Matilda. Yeah. Yeah, but Grace is the antagonist. Grace is. She's the middle, so, yep. Oh, she's at it again. Classic middle child syndrome, yes. hey? Am I right? Mm-hmm. At it again. Poor old Matilda. Always copy. I know. Uh, my, my, my dad says she's penance for how I was as a kid, so. Ah, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yes. Indeed. That old chestnut. Well, Sarah's just uh, bought a new house, so the 800 bucks would come in very handy. We're up very handy. Anthony Wallow Territory. The, the kids aren't up for a gimp. That's cool. That's cool. No, I'm sorry. Too little. <laughs> to apologise. Too busy fighting each other. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're too busy fighting. <laughs> Let's get into it. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What is the capital of India? I don't know. The scapula is located where in the human body? Uh, the knee. What does LBW in cricket stand for? Like before wicket. What is Oprah's surname? Winfrey. What is 72 divided by 6? Uh, I don't know. Stop clock. I love how Matilda just chimes in for the cheap seats right in the middle of it. Oh, I know. Who knows? They want Maccas, so I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Matilda. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we have food at home. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Just it's go like to the pantry. <laughs> I want Maccas. I love that. Uh, oh, let's see. Oh, what does Sarah have? Six seconds, Six Sarah. Six seconds. Pretty a good. bit of money in the bank there. Let's bring in the gimp. Buckley at the end. Oh, nailed it, Ben. That guy can sing. He can sing. He's got some voice. Susie O'Neill. Hold the phone, Freddie. Susie She's not in yet, but I think we're overdue a Maddie Rowe slash Gene Skimp. Can mm. we organise? I agree. Let's get her on. Uh, uh, along any know. lines in particular? Uh, I don't like, think I can say it. Whatever. I can't say it. Maybe Missy Higgins' song. She what, about, what about the Billie Eilish song? Oh, say- yeah. Yes. Mm. yes. yes. No, I mean, that's right up her alley. I'll, yeah. say, this <laughs> and ju- I'll say this and just this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Jolly, we'll on, Jolly on Pesh last night. <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Mm. T- told me something about a collaboration. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Oh. I've I'm heard that on the grapevine as well. I'm out. Really? I can't speak any further. No. Oh, I didn't hear that. But anyway, Jeans, if you're listening, mm. a uh, Billie Eilish lunch yes. gimp, please. Yeah. By I Monday. Eat that. Oh. I'm going to eat Ooh. that gimp for lunch. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, eat that gimp for yeah, lunch. Eat that gimp for lunch. It's writing oh. itself. Okay, come on. Yeah. That sounds good. Th- Let's do it today. It, Susie thought of that then, by the way. Claim it now, quick. <laughs> I don't want to own that sentence. Okay, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Lutzy, great idea. Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, okay, 30, okay, sec- 30 on. seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What is the capital of India? Um, Mumbai. The scapula is located where in the human body? On the back. What does LBW in cricket stand for? Leg before wicket. What is Oprah's surname? Winfrey. What is 72 divided by 6? 12. Stop the clock. Ugh. Hold it. Double two. Yeah. Double two. Tate, tate, tate. Mm. Tate, tate, tate. Sarah yeah. must have been good. Yeah, she's pretty good. No, it's like you did. Um, uh, actually, no, it's not a double two. Go. The, ma- the math is... <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it back. With an S. Yeah. Maths. It's maths. Sorry. David. Yes. We're not American. Yeah. No. It's not a... What is the capital of <laughs> India? Sarah said, I don't know. Sue said it was Mumbai. Mm. It's Delhi. Oh, I know. Oh, Delhi. I realised. I thought it was Mumbai. No. <laughs> Okay. No, and then I've got a question mark on this one. The scapula is located where in the human body? Sarah said, I don't know. Sue said the back. Hmm. I've got the shoulder. It's not in your shoulder. Who said that? Is it? It's in your back. Shoulder blade. Hmm? The shoulder blade, but it's it in your... It is a flat triangular shaped bone, colloquially as the shoulder blade. Yeah, but it's not in your shoulder. 
The shoulder blades, not in the shoulder. I don't, I, don't <laughs> you, I can. I'll show you my scapula. It's. it's Whoa. There we go. Huh? No, it's that. It's those. It's. It's oh, those. You, f- well, it's those. W- it's those wing bones in your back. I know you get your shirt off, but turn around. All you're saying is your front right now. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Whatever. Yeah, you know, you know, I think it's, I think you could. Act, well, that, it is the shoulder blade, but it, I guess you'd say it's technically on the back. <sighs> is it the red bit? Yeah. Listen, could I say something? It's actually not going to make any difference. So yeah. let's oh, just. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm uh, trying so hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does LBW in cricket stand for? You both got leg before wicket. That is correct. You both knew Oprah's surname, Winfrey. That is correct. Uh, so it's two all, but you missed this question, Sarah. 72 divided by six. I thought you'd got that, but you, you didn't evidently. And, uh, Suze, you, you knew it was 12, so it's a 3-2 or 4-2 victory, depending on where you think the scapula is. And it means it'll be worth well done, $900 Sarah. at 9 o'clock. Sarah, won't you have a good day? You're an ideas factory today. <laughs> Is this what you're like when you come in? Um, Drunk. Yeah. Um, was was it, that question, what's Oprah's last name? Mm. So in theory, you could say Oprah Godfrey. Because it could be like, it's like saying, what's David's last name? Well, David who? That's a good point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't get any of that. It's yeah. 20 past nine. Yeah. Eight. Let's yeah, uh, yeah. move yeah. on. Tell me in the podcast. I just, I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what's on after this? It's so smashing. Uh, caller of the week. We don't want to miss that. Oh yeah, I know. It. Oh, I know who it is too. Yeah, she was great. Okay. What well, ain't? But like, um, <laughs> what's your poison, Sarah? What do you like doing? Uh, anything. A family, pa- a family that? pass to see the Broncos v the Titans at yeah. Suncorp Stadium this Sunday. Perfect. Well done. And also a double pass to the Tenerife Festival. This is Saturday, June eight. You're gonna love this. It's the Cat Empire, Thundermentals, Josh Bike, the biggest lineup ever. And also, there's a couple of like things they're doing this year, which has never been seen at the Tenerife Festival. It's going to be massive. Tenerifefestival.org. Perfect. Is, is Thank you website. so much. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. What about that Powerball? I was talking about the odds of winning that Powerball oh, last happened? night. Mm. Uh, Tell us the odds again. It was one in... Was it 134 million or something? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? 50, you said 50 cent pieces that next to each other from Perth to... Adelaide to Melbourne to Sydney to Sydney. Yes, and you have to be one of those fifty cent pieces. Yes, that was a good visual for yes. me. Yes, yeah, like that's pretty <laughs> amazing, isn't it? Well, somebody won the whole thing, like that, you know, because somebody could also guess your numbers as well, and you'd have to share yeah. it. But somebody selected the only numbers that came out. So, so was the actual Jack? The actual prize was one hundred and fifty million, and they picked all the numbers. Yep. It's incredible. Do they know who they are yet? Not yet. Where they're from? It's uh, South Australia. So, it's, so uh, they haven't come forward yet. <laughs> yeah, all that's known is that the person lives in South Australia and bought the ticket in Adelaide. <sighs> but it's not one of those ones where, you know, you know how sometimes you go, to, if you ever want to go to a news agency or something, yeah. buy like a birthday card and then someone in front of you is pulling out six different cards and they're, yeah. they're doing this and doing that. It takes them half an hour to get served to mm. get through their bloody lotto mm-hmm. results. Because <laughs> <laughs> they've got their, um, it can be traced to their card. Yeah. yeah. Well, this was just someone, oh, who, right. this is just someone who's obviously just random. gone up at random and gone, give us a quick pick. Probably a quick pick. Filled, filled out a card themselves. One fifty. Mill. I wonder if it was it. You saying that they was a quick pick? They didn't go. Well, to, just that it wasn't. It wasn't something that's traceable to. Okay, yeah. well, it's this person. They've that, got to find their is, piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wonder if they picked the numbers or not. I don't I'm know. saying. Like, yeah. God, imagine they just went. I hope they haven't put whatever random. Come on, one fifty. What are the odds of that? Just <laughs> well, for the next couple of minutes, everyone just have have a think about it. Like that's somebody's okay. reality this morning. I feel a little bit sick in my stomach thinking about how I'd feel if I won it. Like, as in, like, you know, that feeling you realise? Would you go and tell anyone about it at the start? I don't know if I would. No. Would you don't K- tell K- I don't it K5? I don't think you would. Yeah. yeah. But then it's a case of... Like, who wouldn't you tell? Yeah. Some the point, like... And they probably notice when you start buying mm. things. Yeah, like an island in <laughs> <Yeah>. Vanuatu. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I usually keep the song of the week uh, as a secret, but I will say... Um, you, just tickle us with a feather. We've got a uh, condensed <laughs> version of DJ Lazy Susan set from last night to round out the show. Oh. A condensed version? What do you yeah. mean? It's what like, time are we starting it? It's like 42 songs. Mm. Yeah. No, I think it's about 12 minutes, but we'll, 
Oh, oh, DJ's for DJ Lazy Susan <laughs> twelve minute mini mashup uh, to wrap up the show this morning. At really? Night. Well, yep. Were you plugged into the decks? Yeah, we, we we recorded all last night. And we can, had to... can I give a quick and just on that note? Mm. I know that uh, there's a gentleman that uh, had a lot to do with uh, the collaboration with certain songs. Yeah, uh, you really should. Dylan have. on Potts. And yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Let's give him a public round. Of Dylan, applause. you were amazing. This guy's a, this yeah. guy's a rock star. Yeah, he He's works in the shadows. Him. He's not yeah. seeking. He doesn't get any uh, attention. Yeah. He was there last night. He was like, it was that like classic meme. You know, there's memes going around like uh, when people just. Someone that writes a song, and then the, the artist is on the stage, and they're, yeah. and they're going, "Nobody here knows that I did all this." Yeah, 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 yeah. But that was Dylan last night. I'm not not oh, taking away from no, your no, 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 no. Totally, we had a great team around us yeah. last night, like yeah. from this team, and then Nick and Mitch, some um, super talented, Lockie, people. Yeah. Alicia. We have really good people around us. Anyway, S- enough Samara, about Samara. I've got to say Samara. Oh, Samara, well. Sammy Dubs. Yeah, Samara put Sammy the whole Dubs thing. was in. Yeah, she At was one good. point, she said, "Do you mind if I get two people into the VIP area?" I was like. Samara, you run the show. Like, you yeah. have to Did you ask, say that? You have to ask me that. That's so it's cute. your party. Yeah. Are the other two people? And I, I said no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fifty bucks each. Yeah. Uh, Same so your lane, Samara. That's funny. <laughs> we always have to end it badly with Samara, oh, don't we? No, it's part of the show. She likes it. She likes being she butter it. jokes. Yeah. <laughs> she likes. Uh, it. <laughs> 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 means we like her. We're teasing. Uh-huh. Yeah. We, uh-huh. wouldn't, uh-huh. we wouldn't talk about her if we didn't like her. Seriously, yeah, yeah. It's so true, Susan. Yeah. The other, the other two people are. Really enjoyed uh, being there last night was my kids because I have cool. to I have to laugh it's such role reversal now so they're eighteen and twenty my daughter's twenty Alex she was up in the green room with me before I went on stage she's like you look a bit nervous mum I go yeah I am nervous and she goes just relax take a deep breath just have fun out there we'll be right I'll be I'll be right in front of you so you can see me yes and then I'm holding a Corona beer and she goes and I'm just gonna take this beer off you right now you've had enough to drink <laughs> before you go out <laughs> it's and, she, amazing. and she goes when you get up there I'll give you a drink at a certain point in time I'll give you a little beer and then when I was down there um, when I was down there on the decks because at the beginning you know I'd kind of forgotten to press buttons for a little while yeah, yeah. And it was just playing out. Alex was right in front of me, like making twist movements and. Well, yeah, she was telling you to. Yeah, yeah she was like a. What do you say? A stage, a stage mum. She was like yes. a stage mum. She was right yeah, in front yeah, of me. Yeah. She goes, press the yeah. buttons. We buttons. saw that. Yeah, I actually pointed that them. out to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alex is doing. Look at Alex. Yeah. Um, press it was the very buttons. cool when they came up on stage with you. Yeah, and like, then that they, was re- that was very cool. Yeah, and they came up and danced, and and um, the other thing that. Um, before that as well, Alex was going, smile. Like fully like a stage mum. You know when they go, yeah, smile. smile, look like you're having fun. Look like you're having fun. We saw that. That and was then, so cool. And yeah. then, yeah, when I got them up, it was, um, I mean, when you, I complained a lot about my kids, as you remember probably. But when they're fully grown and they're adults and they're normal people. Giving you advice. Giving me advice. It's yeah. it's re- it feels it's, really special, yeah, I've got to say. That was cool. That they were there. So anyway, great night. Now, do you, do um, you study, and, guys? And boys. by the way, yeah, and, and do you study. <laughs> but like, uh, we're slowly putting, like, well, Nick's been doing heaps of stuff on the socials, but there's, there'll be more great, there's some great photos. Mm. So many. And make sure you check the uh, Ash Lutzi and Susan Neal Instagram today because there's some great stuff. If you weren't there, or even if you were there, there's some mm. great Send stuff photos. in. If, if, it um, was truly yeah. jumping, wasn't it, the place? Like, it was going off. Like, that's. Say jumping. 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 Yeah, like, mm. like, just going off. We have the best listeners. Nuts. Yeah. There wasn't any crazy people there. They were all really. Cool. Everyone was excited <laughs> yeah. to be there and have. They ha- everyone had a great time. The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. <laughs> Visit theladyshake.com.au and use code radio to get twenty dollars off. Terms and conditions apply. Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill's lose your way to game one. This is all thanks to the man shake and the lady shake. We've got the ultimate VIP. Money can't buy Origin Experience to give out. Uh, you just need to tell us on the Nova Player app or NovaFM.com.au what you'd be willing to lose to win your way down to Sydney. Yes, and then uh, be prepared to lose it. Yep. You know, you do have to make that sacrifice. But what should we go to our winner now? You have the draw and and then explain exactly what the trip is. Let's get let's say let's explain the trip first, and okay. then we'll announce our winner. Well, this is what we've got. And by the way. If you've missed out on this one, you've still got a chance to answer this because we're doing it all next week as well. Don't say stuff like dignity. Don't go on the Nova Player app and go, I'd be willing to lose my dignity. Like, we're not going to, you're never going to get picked. Yeah, it needs to be something physically we can take off. And we've been on trips to Sydney with people that have lost their dignity and it wasn't fun. (laughs) (laughs) They got sent home. Did they? They One got sent home. Yes. We've done it all. One was just really rude to someone from anyone. From the Hogsbreath. Hogsbreath. We've got your flights and accommodation. 
taken care of. Can we Wait. say yet where we're staying? Because it's really nice. I don't even know where we're staying. Okay. Anyway, it's and, fancy. And, yeah. It's, it's five star. Right in the centre sh- of the city. Is that on the sheet or is that where you're staying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just be careful. that. that once, okay. Yeah. It's it's beautiful. We're all staying there. You sure? Yeah. Yep. You hesitated. The mm. Ibis, Parramatta. <laughs> <laughs> I've stayed there. <laughs> I've, stayed the, I've stayed the Ibis at Homebush. <laughs> We've got tickets Nothing to the game right on the yes, halfway line. line. So tickets right on the halfway line. And then also, you get to go to the Maroons' captain's run the night before the game. Mm. Can't buy those tickets. That's, that's no. inner sanctum stuff Yep, right there. There's merch. There's all sorts of things. Limo transfer to and oh, from the game. that's right. Limo. Yeah, in the yeah, stretched hammer, I think it is. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. For again, real. Again, is that For real. Uh... No, we're all going in it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to call this person? Yeah, we got him on the line. He's already on the line. Oh, okay. It's a he. Oh, it's a he. That's it. Alex, Marumba Downs. Hey, mate. How are you? Good, mate. You, we, we talked to you yesterday, the day before yesterday, I think it was. Uh, I think it was yesterday, yeah. Yep. And what was it you said you'd be willing to give up? Uh, it was the, uh, the gaming PC. Okay, so when I feel you... a bit nervous about actually having to give it up. When, when you, it. Okay, when you said... I remember when you said it. You said, like, um, you pretty much said PC. I so I was thinking, like, an Xbox, right? Yeah. I'm looking at a picture of it now. Mm-hmm. It's one of, I think I think it's one of those curved sort of screens. Yeah, but that's awesome. Look at look at that. It's actually, just look, like, it's actually, uh, like, this would be worth, that's, I don't even know what Well, it looks like our radio station uh, electronic system yeah. behind a glass 100%. cabinet. Like, this yep. is not a gaming, like, this is, like, proper. A, this is a hard frame. It's a professional. This would look great in our office, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. It's mm. going straight into Lutzi's <laughs> house. Alex? Probably about six grand's worth, yeah. so. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you Lutzi's for that. going to have a, a good system to, you know, start getting those kids. <laughs> finish the sentence. <laughs> please finish that sentence. <laughs> please, please add something to the end of that sentence. <laughs> Kill them in Fortnite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Alex was going to take your... Um, is, he, is he going? Right. He's is he going. Won? You're oh, off, Alex. Won. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we've already taken the computer. Ooh. We'll have the the repossession people at your house in 15 minutes. But you're going to take your wife, weren't you, Alex? Is that right? Yes, yes, I was. Yeah, definitely. And it's going to be a surprise. Definitely. It's going to be a surprise? Yeah. Yeah, it will be a surprise to her. Yeah, you got the wedding anniversary the day after the game. Oh, wow. Yeah, on the 6th. So. Yeah. Congratulations, Thanks for that, guys. That'll be, be even better. <laughs> now I don't have to organise anything. for <laughs> <laughs> me. Yeah, it's it's going to be it's an amazing truck. We're all, we're just excited doing it. Yeah. And, and and you're a Queenslander, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely, through and through. Good. Well, you sound normal. Nothing you sound better like than a decent guy. <laughs> no doubt there's a sinister side and it'll come out at some stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll see you there. Nah, my, my dignity's intact. Yeah, right. yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do. Oh, All right, mate. Good man. We'll All see right. you at the airport. Well done. Thanks very much for that. See ya. See you, bro. There you go. Big thanks to the uh, the man shake. Yeah, the man and, shake. And the lady shake. And the lady shake, shake for helping us make this happen. And Paddy Carrigan's outside too. So Queensland legend. He'll be featuring there. Um, more chances as well for you to win this amazing prize. Head to the Nova Player app or register online, novafm.com.au. Yeah, Alex good. has given up his, his gaming PC. What would you be willing to lose to win the ultimate State of Origin trip to Sydney? The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Healthy fried chicken exists. Pro Pro FPFC is high protein fried chicken made with Australian chicken breast and a high protein crumb what? in the Coles freezer. What? He's got flowing long hair, so hot it isn't fair. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Hello, what? mate. Hello, guys. How you doing? Good. I'm not never prepared for that intro every week, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jess from the reception. Yeah, yeah. She I, does that. I remember when you guys yeah. said... We had it revoiced. We weren't happy with the first one. <laughs> oh, Nick did it the first Nick, one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I needed a girl's oh, voice. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't understand a word of it. Uh, yeah. How are you going? Good, good. Um, yeah, it's been a busy couple of weeks. Magic round. I actually heard the Caxton got drunk out of beer. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, that's did crazy. it? Crazy. That's By when? Nice. Was it like Sunday or? I don't know what day, but apparently they yeah, called on this. reinforcements from Suncorp. Yeah, <laughs> they had to ring Suncorp Stadium and say, can you bring some beer up here? Unbelievable. <laughs> that's crazy. It's the busiest weekend I ever saw in Brisbane. Yeah, it was and nuts. I'm like, I'm like, I'm older than you. 
Oh, just I'll be, I'll be, <laughs> did you see that article, miles. by the way? Right. Of, of the budgies. Yeah. yeah. Which we have to talk about, though. But, uh, oh, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. We redeemed them. I said I'm a couple Ooh. of years older than you. Like, <laughs> and then I said that Tony Stage wants to... to wear them. <laughs> <laughs> that was the we best actually, bit. What did you say? I went to Nudge. We used to walk past each other yeah, in the yeah, playground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was in grade 10. You also said you had a milkshake on Caxton yeah. Street. Yeah, that's, that's where the idea was Did that happen? Yes, that did happen. Did it? <laughs> I said James. It's actually James oh, Street. Oh, James Street, was it? <laughs> More Lutzies, though, mate. I was James drunk and I wrote those quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Shock horror. Uh, so the Broncos won, didn't they? Yeah, we did. 13-12, mm-hmm. it we went right down to the wire. So, oh, okay. a little bit close for comfort, but no, it was good. It was a really good win. That was good for, um, you know, to have a close one, but for Jock Madden, Jock Madden yeah. to, to, to kick the field goal and sort of, you know what I mean? Like, for him to have his moment, I was, I was happy for him. He deserves that. It was so good. He's actually telling Reno now that he doesn't have to bother coming back for the rest yeah. of the year. So, <laughs> take but, your time. Yeah, yeah, take your time. But no, it was good. He's a good kid. Um, I don't imagine it would be easy coming in after someone like Adam Reynolds, but he stepped up and he's got like the next 10 weeks easily. Renault's probably got that long left. So, What's it like, Pat? We, we just gave away a trip to uh, the first Origin game. You know, so here we are as fans, we're thinking about the Origin, you know, and yeah. then the teams get named Sunday night, Monday morning? Yeah, Sunday night, I think. Sunday night, the teams will get named, but there's a full round of footy to go before then. So as a player, like... You probably won't say it, but you're like one of the first selected for Queensland. You definitely will be there, but you've still got a game of footy to play against the Titans beforehand. Is there one bit in you? And then the other players that haven't cemented their place for an origin but are on the brink will hmm. look, be looking to go hard, but they're, but the injury, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, like, it's only human. Touch wood. Yeah, Touch wood. You, you um, I try not to think about it. I think it definitely, like, sometimes comes into your mind, but... The hardest part is getting to the game. Once you're playing and that sort of thing, I always find like, and Titans yeah. beat us last year. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's the Titans. Yeah, yeah on did. a Sunday. So, yeah. it was like beautiful day. We never get to play Sunday footy and we lost. So, yeah. um, I don't know. I'm not thinking about it too much at the moment. But, yeah, it's it's like the build-up to the game is the hardest part because this week everyone's talking about origin. Yeah. And then you get to the game, you play, and then after it you just hang around and Wait. Wait for a oh. phone call. Hopefully, <laughs> what's it like when uh, when you first heard your name? Uh, when was that? When did you when did you date? Yeah, that was pretty around? special. Uh, a couple of years ago, two three years ago now. So, um, do they ring you before? No, Billy rang me. So he rang me. We Billy might Walters. have played. Oh yeah, I wish Billy actually. Walters. <laughs> <laughs> if, Billy, if Billy Slater passed it on to Billy Walters, I would have been so stoked. <laughs> um, no, it was obviously Billy Slater. Um, but yeah, I, I, I went to mum and dad's for... I actually went to mum and dad's for dinner, probably just being a bit nervous. And then, um, I'm not saying you're waiting for a call, but you're just hoping yeah. that you kind of get a call. Um, and yeah, we, we were sitting down having some dinner and he rang and answered the phone. It was pretty special to be there. My mum's waterwork, so she's just crying. Oh, she was but, crying? Um, yeah. Oh, but, um, so nice. Did you put on speaker special. so she could hear, hear um, it? No, nah, I went oh, outside okay. because he, he, Bill probably would have heard her sobbing in the background. So, but yeah, it was pretty special. They're always um, nice phone calls to get. So, and do, um, do people start texting each other, or do you know you don't know sh- who else? No, nah, you don't know. Yeah, so you don't like, know who else it's like, like it? yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. literally <laughs> like that. I got a phone so call. I still wouldn't do that now, but oh, it's just you? like it's like. Imagine yeah. that Billy rings you this Sunday night and go, "You're in the team." You go, oh, duh. "What about Ezra?" <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> <Little. laughs> no, you actually do like wait, sometimes Bill will say like, Oh, yeah, Reese like Reese when Reese debuted, he's like Reese's gonna come in with you, mate. So I wow. knew that. Oh and really? I, yeah, I picked him up, we went in the next day together, but it's really like you get really close with all the boys, so like, you know, Tino or Harry from down there. Obviously yeah. like you're really waiting and you, you hope you make it and then oh look, those two are freaks, so they're definitely good. but you're just waiting to see them the next mm. morning and it's like Everyone slowly drips into the team room of the W together, and you see someone, you're like, "Oh yeah, so, how good!" Yeah, is it like nerve wracking? Is it nerve wracking if when um, you're first team? Like, yeah, first team's a bit nerve. And you don't know who, like, you could be your heroes, and you got to like, yeah. go, "Hello, I'm yeah. the Pat." Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it is a bit nervous. I think it's more nervous with our coaching staff because it's like we were kids, and it's like Jonathan Thurston, Billy Slater, mm. Cameron oh, Smith, yeah. all those guys, yeah. and they're like sitting in a room, and they're telling you about how to play, and you're just yeah. still thinking you're sitting on the couch watching them play Origins. So oh, yeah, it's so crazy. true. Uh, anyway, fun. Titans this week. Um, oh, stuff that. Hang on, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. let's address the, the elephant in the room. Oh, oh we're going to do that. Yeah. Okay. I thought we being my face on your groin. Yes. Oh. So, like, I didn't even, I, I didn't see it, but someone sent me a photo of you wearing someone else's um, underwear. <laughs> At the game last week. Please explain. Please explain. Well, oh, what, happened? Because what happened? What happened? No, what, what happened? I Seriously. wanted to bring it back to Suncorp and... 
rewrite it this weekend because we had one. Okay. We, had, we didn't get off to a good start. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't know that. Yeah, you didn't know that. saying you had doubts. You didn't know no, that. No, not at all. But oh, we went we went one away. We won at Parramatta. So I'm one on one. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I mean, good. But so like, now we're back so to are, you we- are you wearing my face on your groin this week? Is the question. If you shout this week's milkshake, I'll <laughs> wear <laughs> I will shout milkshakes and then, for you. <laughs> this is not a metaphor. Like, well, yeah, I'll do yeah. whatever it takes. It sounds, like a, a metaphor. it sounds like a metaphor. <laughs> well, I just wouldn't mind. Yeah, like. Yeah, no. And then we, what are we doing? Getting Katoni Stags and some too. No, no. I, I just no, I, I, I think said he that he wanted out. to wear it. I think he did. He did. Yeah. Oh, we can. Like, all the boys were actually pretty keen on them. He's gagging for it, like metaphorically. <laughs> oh. All the boys wanted to. Um, well, they can't. It's, it's you only. Are they exclusive? You're, it's exclusively you. <laughs> Imagine 17 pairs getting around. Oh, that'd oh, be no, cool. oh, Come on. That's oh, too much pressure. Dilutes the image. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's you and the Swedish Beach Volleyball team. <laughs> <laughs> and they said no. It's <laughs> quite a contrast. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, we'll, the proof will be in the pudding. Yeah. Face match. <clears throat> and no pressure. I'm not just saying it's... It's just it's the, it's the thing, mm. isn't it? Oh, totally. It's massive. Yeah. It's, a, it's it's Daily very Mail. Uh, it, was the, mate, it was in the Daily <laughs> Mail, all right. So yeah, that's good. What are you asking some shit question about the Titans? Yeah, no, just <laughs> come on. This, this week. Oh. I backed you last year against the Titans when you lost. I'm just saying, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, saying. Yeah. There's no complacency. Let's take care of business okay, on, yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. When is it? Saturday? Sunday, Sunday. Sunday footy. Two Sunday, o'clock. we've got a double well, pass. Same game family as last pass. Year. Family pass. Oh. Yeah. Let's do it 13 24 10 if you want to head off and watch the Bronx in action against the Titans, the local derby, whatever they call it. Forex, Forex. local Forex yeah. derby. Forex derby. Good luck, mate. Thank you, guys. Good Good you this one. Yeah. The Ash, Lutzi, and Susie O'Neill podcast. Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill's Caller of the Week. All right, every week we do our Caller of the Week merch pack. This is number 17. Everyone who gets on the air uh, not only goes in the draw for 10K a day in May, but also goes in the draw for our Caller of the Week merch pack. Yep, uh, I'm throwing in a, a bucket hat, and Ash has gone fishing bucket hat. Yep. Have you seen me in the wild yet? I haven't. No, I haven't either. In fact... Makes me wonder, I don't even think I've taken mine back home from here. I wonder where it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start rocking mine. Yeah. Well, I've got yeah, a, I'm going to uh, just keep swimming beaches, a beach bag, and I have taken mine home. Haven't used it yet, though, either. But nice. it looks good. Well, I've, I've, I've got one of these, the What Would Lutzi Do Stubby Cooler, but I haven't used mine yet, either. <laughs> so come on. Mm. I mean, we're going to get them out and about. So this is the 17th merch pack we've given away this year. I, t- I tell you who has used a uh, What Would Lutzi Do stubby cooler? Who? Bento the dog. It's like a chew toy. <laughs> really? I got that. Only Bento the only dog. Yeah. What, with the big cone head? Oh, yeah. Cone head. Cone head Bento. Wow. Our office dog. Um, all right. Well, the caller of the week this week had zero luck in Smarter Than Sue's, but she was good value nonetheless. Which fruit is a lamington coated in? Lemon. What animal is central to the sport dressage? Lion. Oh, cool. That was. Uh, I mean, that was pretty tough. But I. Question that was four. shocking. What, a, what were those questions? Well, you're yeah, Lockie. Quite, mm. I have listened to Smarter Than Sue's the past you know, week. Do you yeah. normally go good? Like, do you normally? I normally go good. What? What? Four out of five. Five out of five. Like uh, at least three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you ever had a lamington, Zoe? I have. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why was I thinking of a lemon tart? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah she was outstanding. Good value. Zoe. Hey, Zoe. Zoe from Hi. Marley. <laughs> I didn't hear that because I was in the booth. You were funny. <laughs> I, um, my whole family heard that, and I got my ass handed to me. <laughs> <laughs> you got your ass handed to you. <laughs> Can Zoe go into the draw for next week's call of the week? Yeah. <laughs> You Based got your ass sport. handed to you. I love. I've who that from? Name. Your brother, your dad, or what? Who dad, was? I reckon. My, my dad, my yeah. brother, my mum. Like Re- the whole really. <laughs> what were they? What were they saying? Like what were they? Partic- in what in particular were they dragging um, the pieces about? Oh, so you want to have another Lamington covered in lemon? <laughs> basically, basically. A Lamington? <laughs> Would you like a Lamington, Zoe? <laughs> They also said, we sent you to a private school for a reason. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they spent tens yeah. of thousands of dollars on you, Zoe. 
for this exact moment. And you'll be you failed lo- them. You'll be loving the Olympics coming up. You'll get to see Australia compete in the dressage, you know, when they bring out all the lions. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go and watch yeah. that. I, I, actually, I actually seriously, would too. That would be a good sport. I'd rather that than actually watch yeah. dressage. What's that, what's that guy's name? That always, and now the lion yeah. walking... Yeah, what would you say? Reverse. He's reverse parking the lion into the... <laughs> He's dressed up in a suit, hops on a line. <laughs> ah! And who's the eight time? I pay to see that. Who's the eight time Olympian? Uh, yeah. What's his name? Andrew like, Thompson. Yeah. What's his a- name? Andrew uh, yeah. for the last time. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets eaten by a lion. <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? Oh, I can't remember. Hoy? Andrew, Andrew Hoy. Hoy. Oh, no, all Nick. Hit it. Coming in from nowhere. Come on. What on, Zoe? Nick. Think you know it all. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Mitch is on the street. Let's find out where. The Prince is on. The Prince is on. The Prince is on. Who is on the streets? The Prince is on. Ash didn't turn his mic on, but I reckon anyone heard the bell. Anyone heard the bell. He nailed it, too. You did so good. Smashed it. Susie's literally on today. How's she in the soundproof booth? This is Mitch on the street. I know. Like, uh, should we have time to get there, though? It's not smart of the zoo. What is it, like five minutes? Yeah, she's just finished. (laughs) Shut up, Ryan. (laughs) You're making... Hello, Mitch. You're making no sense. What's what's going on? (laughs) Hello, what else is going on? It's uh, it's one of Brisbane's favourite festivals. It's Mould. A oh, cheese yeah. festival. Oh, it's back. We lo- I know, I can't believe it's actually already been a year. We were down here last year painting the picture because this is huge. It's getting bigger and better every year. I met with the uh, founder, Dan, and you're saying this is the biggest one yet to the point where you Dan, might have to find somewhere bigger Dan, next year. Dan! Oh, here Dan. we go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> here he is, I found him. Oh, mate, it's, it's been... A, we always love coming up to Brisbane. It is a massive event. The support we've had is just been incredible, so much so that, we, you know, it sold out about two weeks ago, but you're right. I think next year we're going to have to go bigger and better and even harder next year. Yeah, we've got some tickets to give away uh, in just a second, but uh, tell... Because, yeah, you've got a big one coming up, obviously, in Melbourne, another one in Sydney as well, but a big one in Brisbane. What's the benefit of, of coming up to uh, Brisbane to kick it off for the year? Oh, uh, the weather. Yes. You've got this yeah. big, shiny thing in the sky. It's amazing. Mm. Like, from... Mm. From Melbourne, Mitch's we were head. already saying it was zero. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to hide the fact that one of their um, great merch hats doesn't actually fit my melon. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's incredible. That. Everyone always comes up here. There's a massive support. So it's a, and everyone's just so chill. So we've got we've got more producers than we've ever had at the festival before. So there's about yeah. 20 producers, almost 80 to 100 different types of cheese on tasting, mm. plus all of the drinks, spirits, wine, all of the things. To it's go. an afternoon and night session today, but then it runs a little bit early tomorrow, 11 o'clock uh, kickoff. So try and paint the picture for anyone who hasn't been down here before, yeah. it's not necessarily like a, a come and sit down and we, uh, you bring like a tasting plate out. you just got all the different stands of all the cheesemakers sort of across this entire warehouse and they just go up and pick and choose what they want. Absolutely. That's the whole thing. We want you to get in front of the cheesemakers uh, and all Australian cheeses, I should say. All of the producers here, Australian, they're the best in the country. So you get up, meet the makers themselves, ask, get a, get a, get a familiar, familiarise yourself with what the cheeses that you like. Mm. I think that's the thing. So the next time you go out and you see it in a retail store, you know exactly what you like. And you can also purchase direct. And where everyone's food dollars go right now is so important. And supporting local producers is absolutely key. What's the breakdown between people coming along that are a genuine sort of cheese connoisseurs to those like me that have walked through like the Coles Deli and picked out a one for the weekend <laughs> with a with a couple of crackers and think we know what we're talking about? Well, we like to welcome all curd nerds, uh, as we like to say. So if we can convince you that uh, to have something slightly different, then we've done our job. And not only a lot of fun down here, you can have, and obviously, the, I mean, the, the atmosphere alone, but the food and the drink that's on offer. We've got good merch as well, which is one of our favourite things from last yes. year. Now, you're in last year's one. You just turn around. Uh, it's got on the back, in big, bold letters, soft, semi-hard, stinky, oh. and then very, very small underneath, mould cheese collective. So, unless you know what you're looking at, and then Buzz, they've actually got some new merch, so I've got a shirt to bring back Thank to you, because you. You, know, you and I were big fans. Oh, yeah. This one is Eat, Sleep, Cheese, Repeat. Eat, eat sleep, sleep, Repeat. Oh, yeah. repeat. Hang on, is DJ Susie back? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Dance! 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 
Dan, you're proudly saying this festival stinks. And that is what you said. And it's probably the only festival you can say that and mean it in a positive way. Absolutely. When that first uh, cheese truck turns up mm. and we unload, the smell wafts through the oh, building and it is, it is absolutely stinky. But again, it's always that thing because there's so many different styles that we say, you know, soft, semi hard, stinky. It's how do you like it? Yeah. You know, really? It's like, how do you like it? Soft, semi hard, or stinky? That's the big question. Well, uh, big apologies if you've just tuned in and uh, that's the first We're thing. We're talking cheese. Morning. Susan, yeah, you said it for cheese. the first time. Cheese. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry about that, Suze. I yeah, thought I heard wow. you gasp with surprise there. Yeah, uh, but we are, as, as, as Dan said, it is sold out, and it's sold out weeks in advance. But we do have some tickets. You want to give us a call on 13 24 10 right now. Mold, a cheese festival yes. is back, bigger and better than ever, down here amongst the RNA showgrounds. And uh, so if you're already coming down here, enjoy. If not, give us a call 13 24 10. And if not, uh, yeah, bigger and better again next year. And, uh, and can't wait, Dan. So best of luck over the weekend. Thanks so much, everybody. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Hey, Beck. Hey, how are you going? We're doing. Oh, Beck's a nurse. Oh, okay. We, love nurses. Oh, we, love we nurses. are the nurseiest show in Brisbane. So, yeah. Don't even worry. Like, don't even worry. <laughs> if you lose, we're going to load you yeah. up. You, that would be fantastic. Are you working this weekend? I am on Sunday afternoon. Oh. I know, I'm devastated. Are you at a hospital? <laughs> where, where are you working at? Uh, Logan. Hospital. Yeah, Logan Hospital. Yeah. How are Sundays rate as far as like, are you, are you ER? Where are you? Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad at all. Respect. Lutzi's, yeah. Lutzi's mum was a nurse. Yeah, right. uh, and Mitch, Mitch's wife's a nurse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I used to maybe work with her. Oh, Sarah? Yes, I think so. At Marta. Cool. Maybe? Yeah, probably. Mm. Sounds about right. I was born at Marta. Mm. This is an interesting side note. Yeah. Yeah. So are my kids. <laughs> there you go. Good chat. We have so much in common. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Beck, let's see if we can put 900 bucks into your pocket. That would be amazing. I reckon everyone's cheering for you too. Yeah. Come on. Let's oh, go. Let's Come on. <laughs> let's go, Beck, for 900. All right. You'd be a worthy winner. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. How many hearts does an octopus have? Three. In which sitcom can Paddy's Pub be found? Don't know. What colour is the diamond suit in a standard deck of cards? Oh, don't know. Which biblical biblical figure killed Goliath? Oh, Samson. Spell restaurant? R-E-S-T-A-U-R-E-N-T. Subclock. Jeez, like sometimes Lockie gets in a... Dark mood with these questions. It mm. just goes hard. Yeah. No, that was tough. And I got a restaurant wrong. <laughs> Towards the end there, right? Yeah. 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 It's like Lockie's been, you know, sucking on the happy gas. <laughs> you know? <laughs> when he's been writing those. I just can't. <laughs> writing those uh, questions. Yeah, not good. <laughs> Let's bring not in good. the gimp. Gimp me with your oh. rhythm stick. Gimp me. Gimp me. Give me slowly, give me quick. Give me, give me, give me. Give me with your rhythm stick. Four young DJs. Give, give, give. Give me. Give me. Give me. He starts preparing early Fridays too. Like he's sweeping out the... He's sweeping, he's sweeping out his... Um, basement. Basement right now. Thank you. Don't help you there. Thank you. Help the phone, Freddy! All right, Suze, uh, you win this and it's worth a thousand bucks on Monday when we return. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. How many hearts does an octopus have? Three. In which sitcom can Paddy's pub be found? Cheers. What colour is the diamond suit in a standard deck of cards? Red. Which biblical figure killed Goliath? Samson. Spell restaurant. R E S T A U R A N T. Stop the clock. Restaurant. Yeah. Restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. like that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> she went out of a way to uh, get that last letter. Uh, well. All right, let's have a look at it. Uh, I was very impressed with this. How many hearts does an octopus have? You both said three. 
Mm. And that's correct. Mm-hmm. I mean, really? how the bloody hell did you oh, know that? Because it was a that. question. We did it as a question here about th- three weeks ago. Really? Well, Remember? I have no, no recollection of that. I don't, I don't think so. No, I, I didn't know no, that. We've never had that. Maybe it's on another ABC uh, or something. It's on Finding Nemo too. Yeah, it's on Finding Nemo. Oh. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think Loretta Ryan talks about it. Yeah, I oct- think I heard it on ABC. Yeah. It harps a lot. Oh. Um, uh, in which sitcom can Paddy's pub be found? Uh, Cheers was a good answer. I don't think cheer, it's right. No, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> That's such a locky. I've never really heard of that so question. So locky. That show. Me neither. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's very no. cerebral. It's a, locky, it, it's a locky thing. What Ooh. is a Cheers pub called as well? Uh, cheers. Oh, oh Cheers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it is. It's good yeah. Cheers in Boston. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would have said that as well, by the way. Thank you. What colour is the diamond suit in a standard deck of cards? Beck... You said, I don't know. Oh, I should have said either red or black. Yeah, it was a 50-50, wasn't it? Sue said yeah. red. That's correct. It's a hard question to decipher, Damn. I reckon. And it's uh, it's 2-1. The biblical figure who killed Goliath. You both said Samson. Mm-hmm. Samson and Goliath. Mm-hmm. You know about David ah, and Goliath? Yeah, That's Samson ah, and Goliath. David and Goliath. David and Goliath. Who's Samson? Uh, Samson. He cut, he cut his hair and he yeah, had the, lost his strength. He got his energy from his hair. Do yeah. we both say that? You both said Samson. Yeah. Rick, he cut his hair and they got, he got beaten by the Tigers in round 14. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> He's paying a dollar one to beat the Tigers. <laughs> and he cut his hair and he cut his hair. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> that was funny. That's funny. What's that was an score? inappropriate use of lava shame. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be. Uh, it's a 2-1. Two one to Sue's final question. Spell restaurant. Yeah, Becky, you got that wrong too. You oh. went. You went uh, E N T at the end. Mm. It, I did, and it was A N T. I nearly did that. R E S T A U R A N T. Three one Sue's thousand bucks Hi. on Monday. But go on, Lutzy. Go and go and take care of Becky in the cage. <laughs> Becky, won't you have a good weekend? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Hi, Suze. Massive fan. Hi, Beck. Thanks for coming on and playing. You Thank good? you. Good to play together. I'm going deep. Yeah. I think there's another family pass to the Broncos here. This oh, Sunday, right? Yeah. Yeah, family yeah. pass to the Broncos for the Titans this she's, Sunday. She's working Sunday. You're working Sunday, so that's nice. I am. Okay, well, I've got, I'm going to give you a, uh, a $150 Epic Hair Designs voucher. Oh, that would be amazing. Plus, because you're a nurse... A double pass for a twilight climb of Brisbane Story Bridge Hotel at your convenience. Uh, the Story Bridge, the ultimate urban adventure, storybridgeadventureclimb.com.au. Awesome, thank you. That's all right. Uh, that would be brilliant. Good luck down at Logan Hospital on Sunday. Yes, thank you. Bye. Okay. There we go. Thanks, guys. Bye. thousand Bye. bucks when we return on Monday. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.